What is going on YouTube? My name is Blue4. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Today we're playing some OU versus Jorgecito singles. Remember, if you want a chance to be featured in one of these battles, be sure to follow me on Twitter or hit me up in the YouTube's comment section down below. Now, before we start the video, if you can, please show some love to that like button down below. I really appreciate your guys' support. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any team suggestions you'd like me to use in future videos. And without further ado, let's get into the battle. So upon looking at my opponent's team, I can see that he decided to bring some new humans like me, which is awesome. Uh, most notably the Infernape, the Crocodile, and the Mega Sceptile there. Uh, I have predicted the Crocodile lead or the Skarmory lead as they could be possible Stealth Rock setters. And although Infernape does get Stealth Rock, it's very unlikely that he'll lead with that because um, of how frail it is. It's not a very good Rock setter. As I originally thought, my opponent does decide to lead with his Skarmory. Uh, as I send out my Infernape, as I can threaten the Flare Blitz and predict the switch and go for the U-turn, as I do here. And I catch the Rosemoth Guard and hit it for 23%, which is decent damage for a U-turn. Uh, I'm Focus Ash too, so no ban there. I send out Derptastic, my special wall, unfortunately it's the only thing I have really to take a special hit from this Rotom, and I fire off a Crit Psy Shock. And this Derptastic always seems to get Crit Psy Shocks, it's like Crit Machine. Anyway, he takes a Volt Switch from a Rotom, and uh, goes back into Skarmory, predicting a Psy Shock, which is great for him because Skarmory has Sky High physical defense, that Psy Shock does literally nothing. Uh, I decide to try and get an Intimidate off with this Hakuna, uh, predicting a Brave Bird, but no, he just goes for his rocks. I then uh, make make a bit of a mistake here, well, not just yet, but I just go for a Waterfall here just to test for damage, uh, and he goes for a Brave Bird, just doing more damage. So he has the Rocky Helmet, so I'm taking loads of damage, and then I make a misplay here by going for a Dragon Dance, when I should have really just switched into Infernape or Sizzle or Domfan, something that could take these Brave Birds much nicely. Uh, much more nicely. Uh, instead, I'm somewhat committed to this now, so I go for a second Dragon Dance and decide to try and take this thing out with Waterfalls. All the all the more taking loads and loads of damage. Uh, luckily, I do manage to take the Skarmory out, so there's a big physical wall gone. Which means my other physical attackers, like Infernape, Donphan and Sizzle, have a much better time hitting things. Uh, regardless, I lose my Gyarados. He brings out his own Infernape, and then I catch the switch again. I think he thinks my Infernape is choice scuffed, and get a nice U-turn off on that Crocodile. I then go into Introvert, perfect matchup for this thing. He obviously thinks I'm physically offensive, because I smack this thing with a Giga Drain as he bulks up. So nope, Crocodile, you're not buff enough for this for this Tangrowth. Catch that Giga Drain, boy. Uh, he then brings out Staraptor, very threatening for me, and I predict a Brave Bird going to Dumbo, my somewhat physical wall. It's adamant with max HP, max attack, so it's kind of kind of physically defensive. Um, but yeah, just hits things hard. Instead, he goes for a U-turn and brings out Sceptile. Uh, he makes an awesome play here and uh, goes for Hidden Power Fire, predicting me to bring out my Tangrowth uh, or my Sizzle. Right the way, he, he knew I was going to switch. He's a psychic guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I lose my Tangrowth in the process. I can't do anything about that. Uh, he brings back in Rotom and I smash him with a U-turn and go into my Scizor. I figured a Bullet Punch might be able to take this thing out, uh, but then again, maybe not. I decided to go for U-turn to play it safe and unfortunately get will o -Wisp. I think a Bullet Punch would have taken it out seeing as it's Sab and I'm Choice Banded. But, uh, oh well, a bit of a misplay there. So my Scizor is kind of, well, it's definitely crippled, but it's kind of useless now. Uh, I have no choice but to stay in at this point and uh, roar out this Scepter. Luckily, I eat that hit up uh, and he brings his Staraptor to easily take out my Dumbo there with a Brave Bird. I see that the Raptor is life orbed. I think I saw it before with the U-turn, but it's a lot more important um, that I see it. It's, it's life orb instead of choice scarfed or choice banded even. Uh, either way, so that means my Infernape should outspeed it. Either way, he U-turns out on my Sizzle after getting a bullet punch off. I decided I'm choice banded into this. It's still doing decent damage, but Sizzle is pretty much useless once it's burned. Uh, so my Sizzle goes down to Hidden Power Fire there. He still thinks my Inferno is Choice Scarf, lucky for me, so I can threaten the U-turn and the outspeeding the Sceptile basically. I decide to just click close combat. Uh, but then having lost my defenses and Infernape possibly packing Mock Punch, it could take me out and I need the Infernape, so I decided to go into Derptastic to eat up this close combat. And then uh, this Infernape reveals Thunder Punch, showing me that it's not Choice Scarfed, which is good for me, which means it won't out outspeed my Focus Sash Dog Mufasa, and it means that I can smack this thing with a Mock Punch, and because of the minus one defense, it'll take it out. I can then Mock Punch a Staraptor as well, uh, I don't know if you thought it was going to outspeed with a Quick Attack or something, but nope, not this time Staraptor. Uh, and then I have no choice but to go for Mock Punch on this Sceptile, as it's going to outspeed me. And he finishes me off with a Dragon Pulse. So that was a pretty close match there. I mean, it came down to the wire, Sceptile versus Infernape. But uh, yeah, I unfortunately lost this one, uh, first in the OU series. But uh, this tier is so cool. And I'm glad that my opponent brought UU Pokemon, like Mega Sceptile, you can see there. Because uh, I think, you know, it's best to bring, experiment in these tiers. And not bring always not always bring OP Pokemon. Regardless, that wraps up the video there. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please show some love to that like button down below. Also, feel free to subscribe to never miss a Pokemon video coming your way. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any teams that you'd like to see me use in future videos. I'd love to use anything you guys would suggest. Other than that, have a great day. Peace.